Hey guys, welcome back to Horror Tales, The Wine. I'm going to be completely honest, I'm actually really nervous about this fucking area, man. I... Mm, ah. And I, I, it, it, the game doesn't save... Well, really, save very well. It saved, it saved way far back, so when I started back up, I had to go through this whole area again. You know, where the guy was shooting me and all that? Yeah. <clears throat> and the other thing that's... Hmm... Uh, Mm, I uh, train of thought. My my thought just went poof, gone. Uh. So the guy said he's not gonna kill us yet. Is he gonna toy with us? I'm willing to bet he's gonna toy with us. Bodies everywhere here. Um, see, look, this is all wine. It. I guess it was this very specific bottle of wine, right? I have no idea where I'm going. This place is a maze. Oh. Oh. Um. I can see him standing on the altar. With his gun. So what does that mean for me? Do I have to... You gonna shoot me, dude? Like you did last time? <laughs> oh! What the fuck, man? I... I... Huh? I didn't think I was even near those, but apparently I was. I've lost all train of thought. I, I was going to talk about something, and I forgot about that. And I was going to talk about something else, and I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. I, can, I can walk through there. Okay. Um, I don't... I'm only thinking that we have to do this because... Because it's there. <laughs> right? Why why not just be a long hallway? We can just walk right up to this dude. Um oh. Hi. Hey. Y you just chilling there or what? So what's going on? There's the bottle of wine. Um You're you're not gonna shoot me, are you? You. you, you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't trust this guy at all. I'm like, is he gonna? Am I gonna be like the shooting gallery while I try to figure out what lever opens up this cage he surrounded himself in? Oh, is is um. The fuck? Do you want me to go down here, dude? Say something. What's down there? What's down there, sir? Well, here I go. This looks horrible. Um, man. There has to. Be Hmm. Has to be a reason why he's doing this. Something bad. Okay, so he's over there. Are those headless douchebags going to be chasing me all around while I try to <clears throat> open up this stupid cage he's in? That would be my guess, right? They aren't just gonna, you know, vanish just because he showed up. Mr. <laughs> Gunman! Why did he do that? I was right. I'm the shooting gallery. Is that correct? You're just gonna shoot me? No matter what? Ooh! Run like a bitch! Ow! God damn. Now, throw the headless douchebags on top of it, and we're in real trouble here. Um, 
What a jerk. Why did he do that? I was right in front of him. He could have sh blasted me right in the head and he didn't. So why did he do it now? What's the point? Just to be a dick? I, I don't know. I don't remember what my real objective was. There was... I, I just was supposed to find him, right? And I did. Then he closed himself off in a cage. And I'm willing to bet he can shoot us from here. What's that? Ooh! Um. Yeah, there's a switch over here, man. But what for? What is said switch for? We're gonna have to bolt again. I'm just gonna run across the other side. Ooh! Ow! God, what a dickweed. How am I healing myself, by the way? How many times have I been shot now? Like, a lot. Ooh. Ugh. It's down there. Can he get me from here? Or is... I'm hearing staticky shit. Does that mean the headless douchebags are around? Because honestly, if the headless douchebags are around, this is super unfair, man. Like, super duper unfair. Like, super uber duper unfair. What is this? It's another cavern below. But there's stairs going up here. For why? Oh my god, was this, did I just make a loop? <laughs> no, wait a minute, no. Um, can it, ooh! Dude's a crack shot, man. Um, I'm guessing there's a switch on either side, correct? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say there's a switch on either side. So I've got to use the environment to not get shot and killed. I can't tell. I see boxes over here to the right, but and there's some stuff over here, but um, uh, <laughs> ow! Stay behind the boxes, man. Just don't move. Oh, God, don't bump into him. Okay, so there's a box there next to the switch. But he's going to shoot me. Owie, ow. Owie, ow. Fuck me. How do I... Just run like the dickens? I can see the staircase there. The fireplace. That fire. Well, not fireplace. The fire is showing me the way. Run! I'm not running very well. Why weren't you running? Oh my god. I'm gonna bleed out, man. I'm surprised I haven't already bleed out. <laughs> Bled out. Ble bleed it out. Bled. Okay, so. Wait a minute. There's something down. Is that what? That looks open down there. What? What is it? Um, <clears throat> I don't know what it is. And am I supposed? I'm, I'm guessing I'm supposed to go down there. But is it a long fall? 
I think it's just that other cavern below, but... Ow, get down, get down, get down, get down, 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 Or was this where I was before? I don't fucking know. Was this where I was before? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. This is where I dropped down. Oh my god. Ah! So now I gotta run like a fucker to... I can't... Okay, it's over there. Ah! Ow! God, what a fucking asshole. There it is, okay. So I'm guessing that's all we have to do. We have to get this other switch. But then what? He's shooting at me. If I open it up, he's just gonna blast me, right? I'm eh. Dead I go. Why is there a chandel here there? Huh. So you only got like about a second. <laughs> Shit. So what did that do? Did it lower it? Oh! Well, so now what? I went down that thingy. I don't know how I'm supposed to get back to him. <sighs> He's gonna shit. Ouch! Let's go back through this thing of blood. This came down. That's where he is. He's right up there. So. so ow. I'm just all about hurting myself in this game. It's the pain. Uh. Okay. Um. Oh. I didn't see you. Ah! Ow! Ow, you fucking bitch, get off me! Oh, I fucking hate you. I fucking hate you. No, I hate you. Headless man! I sh- I fucking should have known. I should have fucking known. So... I don't know the route. Come here! Oh, that fucking hurt! What? <laughs> what do I do? What do I... Go this way instead. Oh shit. Um. Whoa! Woo! 
so what do I do? There's nowhere to go. I'm doing something wrong here. Um... What am I doing wrong? I fucking don't know. Okay, wait a minute. Is there like a door or a lever somewhere? Oh. I can't tell where I'm going. You fucking asshole. I don't know where to go. You can't see. This is getting so annoying. It's so frustrating. There it is right there. But I don't know. I'm like... I don't know where... I don't know where to go. You can't go anywhere. Oh, shit. I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Go! Go, go, go! Ah! Now get off me, bitch! That was ridiculous. Can someone please tell me where I'm supposed to go? Oh, bullshit! Bullshit! It needs a key! Get off me! Oh! Ah! You know what? Fuck. 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 Okay, guys, so I basically lost my shit in this area. I mean, I fucking freaked. And so I had to get a little bit of help, and I actually ran through it once, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it and show you the ending and everything because we're, like, so close. But this was night a nightmare. It I, I, I don't even understand why this guy did this. It's like, wow, you had this really cool game, and then you put this at the end, and you can suck my cock because it... It's utter chaos, and you'll understand why once once I show you this. Enjoy this. Yeah, enjoy this. You're, you're going to have fun. Yeah. God forbid if you're playing this game, too. And you're not this far yet, because this is what you're going to get look forward to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, guys, so here we are. <clears throat> this is the section I'm talking about. I'm sure you know. Uh, you just saw this a second ago. I mean, uh, you didn't get to see me freak out. 
but it did start me um, back where I have to get the key. Of course, I had to revert back, so um, hopefully this goes smooth, because this is a fucking nightmare. Um, yeah. Here we go. This guy just fucking sucks, man. Whoa! Hey, dickhead. I never said you could come that way. Where is he? Oh! It's so hard to keep your eye on him. Can I just grab it from here? Oh god, okay. So we want to get him over here. Let's open the door. Run down and get our flashlight. Yep, gotta do all this shit again. And I found if I get him to go to the right, it's a little bit easier, but it's harder to do that. Uh, okay. Flashlight. Okay, this is our go-to area. So we're going to see him over here. Hi, dickhead. Eh, fuck off. Nah. Eh. And he doesn't drop down, thankfully. So, I... Okay, he's going to come down from there. Alright, so anyway. Alright. Got to turn that off. He's going to run over here. Over here. Hopefully this takes him a long time. Just gotta grab this. Go, 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 go. We gotta wait for like the last second. And we gotta just kinda just go as best we can, as far as we can with this damn thing. Once we see him coming. Drop it. We want to get him as close back here as we can. Uh, and this goes in here. Uh, and your best opportunity, uh, I just like lean back so far. You, Guy is such a dick. Okay, so we're gonna run up here. Because he doesn't drop down, he doesn't crouch or anything like that. He just. For some reason, the guy can't do that. So we're gonna. We're gonna bait him up here. Grab it. And then we gotta get it on here. Really quick. And I'm gonna wait. I'm waiting for everything, because you know what? Fuck this. Because there he is right there. So we're going to... Oh, God. Don't get stuck. See, I was afraid I was going to fuck up. Come on, asshole. Come on, asshole. You know, and this is not even the worst part, man. The worst part is trying to get the... Uh, end. Come on over here. Hit the switch. And since this fucking thing takes so goddamn long, we're gonna have to bait him around one more time. I'm just being safe. This is all taking for a lot of precautions. Because I don't wanna fuck this up. I don't wanna have to do this shit again for you guys and fuck up. Of course, I probably wouldn't re record myself fucking it up, you know. Come here, dickhead. Eh. Ah. So we gotta go in here now. All right, so you got two symbols in here. I didn't know you had to open this and I'm like, oh fuck you, I have to do this shit? So this is that, this is that. We gotta make sure we don't have asshole kicking our ass. And as far as I know, they don't change. The symbols don't ever change. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha, dick. Ha 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 ha. Now there's one up here. 
Okay, um, this should be a T symbol. Where is he? Here he comes. Right, I'm not sure which side he's gonna go. So we're gonna go over here. Drop down again. I'm gonna have to get my bearings. Hold on one second. <laughs> this just gets so dumb. Uh, okay. All right, we're good. We're good. All right. So the next one's gonna be the main door, but I'm gonna wait again. I'm gonna bait him because, again, I just don't want to fuck it up. I'm sure a lot of you that are gonna be a lot more gutsier than I are just are a lot better th at this than I am, don't have to do this every single time. But for the sake of this video, that's what I'm doing. We're gonna make it real easy on ourselves. Oh, don't you wanna come here? Oh, what's the matter, dickhead? So this should be a T, like a T symbol. See how quick he comes down? What a fucker. So what I'm going to do here, we're going to bait him again. Because now we got to go to the dreaded one, the one I really hate the most. And I'm not sure why, because it's just it's one switch. We're almost done, believe it or not. Because this, I fuck up every time. So under the, oh god, no, I ran past it. Fish hook. And run. I'm sure he's close. Okay, there he is. Come on over, douchebag. Come on over, fucker. And then we're gonna bait him again. Because that's the kind of guy I am. Because <laughs> fuck you, buddy. So tired of your shit. Yeah, you. Fuck, oh god. There's a spot you get stuck on there. I don't know what the hell it is, but. Now we're gonna go ahead and hit this. It should open, it should work. Right. So again. Run over here. Run over here. And just just to be safe, you you really don't have to do this one this time. Door is open. But just, just in case this asshole gets any wise ideas. Yeah, you, fucker. So we're gonna run, and then turn on. I guess where we are now. Ow! Man, what a dick. Gotta turn this one really quick. Ow, 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 fucker. This is why I hate this one the worst. Oh! And I'm gonna wait again. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck up again. Ow! I hate this part! Okay, run. And we are out. And we should get an achievement here. Yep. The seller challenge is now completed. Isn't that nice? Isn't that good times? Isn't that fun? No. It's not fucking fun. So now we're we are very close to the end. Very, 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 very close. Fuck you, buddy. You're gone. I don't need your music anymore. And you'll notice your flashlight's now gone. For whatever reason. And now it's all raining blood and shit. Or wine something. I don't know. I don't know. What we've been waiting for all this time. 
Achievement unlocked. The cellar completed. Yeah, here's here's our wine. <laughs> God damn, that scared me. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, how you like this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gunman, AR. Go fuck yourself. AR, what does that stand for? Asshole Royal? Several years later. Let's just jump off, you know, after all the shit we've been through. Hey, 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 phone. I didn't tell you you could do that. Didn't tell that at all. There's a lot of reading coming up, by the way. <clears throat> the economic recovery is slowing down. Eight years have passed since the infamous Devil's Fevers, but the aftermath remains. After the purge and the demolition of the Band of Bosque Winery and all its bottles, the capital has to transform its economy into one that isn't, in de isn't dependent on wine exports. An enormous effort was made by everyone, and the economy gained momentum again, but the torrential rain of the last few weeks has caused tourism to plummet. The governor assures that there is no reason for alarm, that when the rains pass, the economy will bounce back, reminding that this is not the first time this has happened, and asks all citizens to be patient. Exclusive interview with Albert Roig. A.R. Anybody? This look familiar. It's Albert Roig's hat. <laughs> to the heroes, to the apothecaries and healers for your efforts in the fight against the devil's fevers. To Albert Roig, who risked his life traveling to the desol desolated capital <clears throat> all on his own to save the most delirious infected persons. He found 47 and was able to save eight. To the wise men whose discoveries were crucial to ending the devil's fevers. Really? New pools of wine discovered eight years later. A group of youths have discovered undrained standing pools of wine in some of the capitals, rarely used underground tunnels eight years after the Devil's Fevers ended. During the first stages of the pandemic, when no one not yet knew that the Bandy Boss wine was causing the fevers, many winery workers rebelled because they were forced to keep working to protect the island's economy. In protest, they smashed all the bottles of wine they could find to stop them from being exported. These uprisings only worsened the pandemic. If other similar pools of wine are found, all citizens are urged to report them to the authorities as soon as possible. Do not come close to them. Coming close to the wine without a face covering can cause serious delirium typical of devil's fevers. <clears throat> Among the most common symptoms are hallucinations, spatial dis disorientation, obsessive first thirst for more wine, mania and feelings of being chased, and, in the worst cases, high fever and cardiac arrest. Hallucinations begin minutes after contact with these wine pools. Does that also sound familiar? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Enough, we demonized the Danny got Bandy Boss long enough. It wasn't their fault that the fevers were caused by their wine. It was a disaster, but un unintentional. We still don't know what happened to the aged wine stored in their cellars. Obviously, when the first bottles of that cursed harvest were opened, it was too late. The Bandy Boss were victims just as much as the rest of us. They deserve a tribute as well. What was done to that family when it was discovered that the wine was causing the fevers and hallucinations was mass murder. Even if in the past they exploited their workers and got rich at their expense, they deserve justice too. Above all, the boys and girls of the bandy boss that were hunted down and killed. We must ask them for forgiveness. 
That sounded weird. We must ask them for forgiveness. It is offensive that on this monument to the victims, the bandy bosks aren't mentioned. Justice for all. Yeah. It gets better, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Barty, Marty Bermillo, father and last victim of the Devil's Fevers. Guess who that was? Hello, Dad. It's already been eight years since you passed away. I'm still not past it. Visiting your grave is a tradition now. This year I met Albert Roig. He told me about how he found you dead with your head full of glass from the bottle you smashed yourself with. It's rough, but in a way, knowing how you died brings me peace. I just hope I... Stop texting me! I just hope I stop having the nightmares. Albert has become a celebrity. They almost worship him. I feel proud and overwhelmed just to know him. In fact, he left his hat beside the monument to the victims months ago, and nobody has taken it. Sometimes I think about the irony of it all. To be unaffected by the fevers, all we had to do was cover our face like Albert did. Would you believe... Would you be alive today if he had known the one, that one stupid thing before? Anyway, I like having him around. No, Dad, don't worry. You'd like him. When you look past the hero image they paint him with, he's very approachable and considerate. Even so, want to know a little secret? Every day he's always whistling, and that gets a bit annoying. There had to be one bad thing about him. But don't tell him it's our secret. Your daughter who still misses you another year. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't tell you, bitch, that he murdered him, murdered your father, blasted his head off, or whatever he shot. Yeah. What about that? Huh? Little girl. And they're still texting me, fuckers. All right. Carlos Coronado. Now I'm really not in the mood to, you know, really look at all the, the credits. Um, because I really like to go in and how I feel about this. Um, to the awesome adoctrinados. Viva el niño. Should we watch? I don't, I don't know. Eiffel Bridge, Texas. Whatever. I'm just I'm hitting a button. I'm just calling it a day. Don't believe this advice. <whistles> photo mode is now unlocked. And I'll explain that in just a second. Use the photo mode to unlock secrets. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. Horror tells the wine. Now, I would almost really want to get a hold of this Carlos guy and ask him, was this kind of a grim reminder of the pandemic we have going on now and how things could things can and have, you know, in many ways taken deadly turns. I mean, we've got kind of a mania going on now. You got some crazies out there that oh, this pandemic is a hoax and it's fake and shit like that. Um, I'd like to know if this was influenced by the COVID pandemic. It's kind of odd it came out when it did, right? But enough of that talk. How I feel about the game. This was really, really good. This was like actually fantastic. However, okay, pros. Graphics were wonderful. Um, it, it handled really well. And I liked the lighting, the atmosphere. It was very moody. I like how he made everything so subtle. It was like pretty and calm and you're 
feeling kind of at peace and at ease. Then all of a sudden, the shit hits the fan. And as you start moving along, you know, the pacing's, I can say this much, the pacing's really good in the beginning. Because you're just, you know, you're in this city that's been torn by this pandemic and it's pretty. And you're just wandering around trying to find this bottle of wine, save your wife and child, I think that's what it was. But uh, things take really ugly turns. And it's paced really well in that aspect, but when it further gets along, and here's where some of the cons come in, um, I think some of the elements of gameplay were just kind of rough. And... I don't know, just I, I, a little more info, you know, it's one of those times where I think a game didn't give you enough information to really know just what exactly you were supposed to be doing, especially like that last puzzle. I mean, I didn't know that, okay, well, this goes here. You know, I must find the lever to, you know, when you go up to that door that had the eight on it, it should set some, I need to find the lever for this door. You know, you know that the lever's missing, but information on like to open up this to open up that there's like four different areas i had no idea you, i guess he just meant for you to run around like a maniac and try to find oh well look there's another switch oh shit there's another one with two of them there's another one by this there and there's one over here and oh my god you know it, it was a lot of it was very manic just very crazy and like and i i, I like that tensity in some games but um where it gets confusing and that becomes frustrating and that last part really got frustrating um still like that that, that panic thing kind of in there was kind of cool in a way but at the same time you, you're doing this puzzle while being chased down by this headless freak and i don't know that that's that part just didn't work for me very well, and I'm not just saying it because it was very frustrating for me, but because I think a lot of people are going to feel that way and just be like, fuck this, you know, and throw their controller or their keyboard and mouse across the room. But it's a small gripe. It really is a small gripe for what I thought was a well put together game. And like I said, the atmosphere, the ambience and all that was very intense it, it was crazy it was just like it's the way it works around your brain is just ooh, just the experience is very well met and i encourage anyone to play it i think like in some of those cases with some of the puzzles some of the immersion gets lost um but it's very forgivable um and then my last thing i want to say is the ending i i will say this much i am not a fan of the ending um to give that asshole any credit and you know and then oh his daughter um likes this guy you know and she doesn't even know the truth that this guy fucking just blew your father to bits killed him told you a lie that he'd smashed himself with a bottle and you're like what really you believe that no because i don't i wouldn't you know no um but of course in the in in the face of a pandemic like that one was, or this one is, um, I'm sure maybe, you know, I, I'm sure you'd want to hear something other than, hey, I had to gun your father down for whatever reason. Um, well, he was sick, you know, and well, I had to gun him down, but then you know, later I found out that all you had to do is cover up your face and you were good to go. And I just, I don't know, the ending just didn't jive for me at all. Um, not a fan of the ending, but like the game as a whole, you know, cutting out those little bits, uh, things that I didn't really care for, just re fantastic, really well done. I hope he does another game. Um, I'm sure he will. I, I, I hope he does. Because uh, this was quite, quite good. And I'm glad I played it, and I'm glad you guys got to experience with me as well. Um, and here's to looking forward to another crazy, scary fucking weird ass game hopefully not with a headless man who doesn't seem to want to quit and some jag off who lies about shit and wants to blow my head off i don't know i'm, I'm gonna stop about that but anyway hope you guys enjoyed um 
and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you're having a fantastic day and you're staying safe and you're staying healthy. And I already said, hope you have a fantastic day. So that's usually how I ended. That was dumb. <laughs> well, I hope you have a fantastic day again. Peace. Drop it.